Okay, so in this short video, we're going to show you how to actually install the uh, Map Window GIS and MMM tools. Um, if you come to the Welcome the Manure Manager Planner homepage, where we're going to start everything at, over here on the right hand side, you'll see that link. Um, I'm making this video in 2019, I'm assuming that's the same. Um, if not, um, you should be able to find it somewhere on that manure management page if this updates before I, um, <laughs> uh, they change it after I make the video, let's put it that way. So you come to this page here, and you'll have several links here to work with, or several informations. Um, most of those you can play on if you want. Really the only one we're going to be working with, or need to worry about today, is downloading the Map Windows and software. So. Um, if you had this on your computer before, make sure you uninstall the old version, but I'm assuming many of you have it before, so we're going to download that. Uh, for those of you who use ArcGIS, and I'm just going to put in a folder I call temporary stuff, um, you can put it wherever you want when you download it. Uh, for those of you who have ArcGIS on your computer, don't worry, these do not conflict with each other. We're just going to work with this um, instead of ArcGIS because of the way it works well with the Manure Manager Planner. That's why we're on downloading it. It's a free software that you can download and install on your own computer and use as much as you want to. So there's some, some benefits to this software as we get with it. Um, now it's down here at the bottom. Um, depending on what you're using, I'm using um, Chrome here. I can just come down here and show in folder. Um, if you use Firefox, you probably have a download arrow. Um, I usually like to just show it in the folder or find it in that folder. And if I don't remember, I downloaded that temp stuff. Um, there it sits right there as I'm looking at it. Anyway, my temp folder is kind of busy and full of stuff, so I just cleaned that out quick. I pause and clean that out. So now I'm just going to click on this application, and when I double click on it, once it's in that folder, that's going to run the install program for it. So just give it a minute. Uh, depending on your computer, you may get something like this. Um, just go ahead and click run. Uh, you may get a warning because you're going to be installing something. And again, another run warning here. I um, mean, if you have some antivirus software, you might get some warnings. So you want to go through those things. And then when you get to this page, you're actually going to the install. Um, I don't bother changing anything. I just kind of click next through it. Same thing here when it asks where to put it. Um, if you guys understand your computer and the technology, feel free to change a different place. But I'm going to just leave it as is. Um, that's the best choice. And then you have several you can install. I'm not actually going to. I'm going to turn off this example project. We really don't need that. But I do want these other two installed. Um, you want to do the example project, feel free to use it. Basically, it's just something you can open up and see that's completed already. But, um, I'm going to leave that out of here, um, and then I'm just going to click install. Um, that'll run a little bit um, to run that and get it installed on your computer, and when it gets done, it's going to give you a message it's completed. Um, and we'll pause while we're waiting for that. Okay, so when it gets done, you'll get this message that's completed it, and I'm going to leave that check mark there. I'm just going to click finish, um, and that's going to go ahead and open up this window, which gives you a bunch of information about how to draw fields. Um, We'll show you later how to actually make maps in there, um, but a lot of things that you might want to read um, to be familiar with the software. We're not going to spend a lot of time training on the software, just going to give you the basics. But this is a good thing to give you information about that. Now if I minimize this and everything else that's on here, you will show, see probably on your desktop you should now have a map window GIS. If not, you should be able to find it down in your start menu. menu. In most cases, people have everything alphabetical in there. Um, and map window GIS right here. Um, we'll click on that and then it opens up. Uh, let me minimize that just a little bit so it fits into the window here. Um, and this is map window GIS. Um, looks a little bit by ArcGIS, but not the same. Um, it's going to work similar. Um, but I just got the installation done here. Um, we're going to stop with that and we'll actually create a map in a different video. So I uh, hope you found this um, helpful.